up you guys it's damn right I got knives here with another DRI GK live yeah and I'm on number this is number eight yeah with Joff this is gonna be a fun one this is cool um, before we get started here I wanted to just say that I'm uploading all these on to um, YouTube so I lost the last one with artsy and with Lauren Hourglass Eyes, that one got deleted off my Instagram, but I luckily have it saved. I'm posting it onto YouTube and all of these will be able to be viewed on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get Joff on here and have a little fun. All right. All right. Yeah. What's going on? There it is. How you doing, man? Doing all right. How about yourself? So what do you got in your hand? I got the same thing you got in your hand. I had a feeling. That's why I got <laughs> this out. I knew it. I've been seeing some of your clips lately. Been having this more often, right? Yeah, because I, I went to California, and I, I left it there to get some mod work done. I left it at Squid, and I, I like, just got it back. So I haven't had it for a while. Dude, yeah, they, I sent it in to have this done online by TV. Yeah, I got, uh, mine's different. I got, like, uh, I don't know if the light can pick it up. I got, like, uh, it's like a floral design. I don't, I don't know, know if you know Jelly. Jelly engraved it for, I think he did. I actually have no clue. Here, wait, let me try and flip the camera. Yeah, it's not really. Right yeah, oh, yeah, it's more of it. a, it's more of an in-person thing. Yeah, I see it though. Yeah, no, nice. it doesn't really pick up too well on camera. That's cool though, man. These I went without mine for a couple weeks. It's like two weeks, and I like when I got it back, I was jonesing for it. It was just so nice to have it back in my hands. <laughs> two weeks is nothing. Try, try, try six months. Oh, you didn't have it for six months? I didn't have it for six months. Oh, wow, man. Yeah, yeah I think mine was like two or three weeks I didn't have it. <sighs> yeah, like, I forgot what they flipped like by the time I got it back. All right. Cool. Well, thank you for doing this, man. That's super cool. I think, you know, uh, you were definitely people were like, you should get job. You should get job. I'm like, yeah, I want to. And so when we were talking that one time, I immediately hit you up. Let's do it. You know, so... Uh, I'm glad to see you on here doing this. Oh, thank you for having me. I, I don't know. I just been seeing you. I saw you interview Lucas. I saw you interview Joe, and I'm just like, I gotta, I gotta get in on this. Cool, man. It's great to have support from the community, man. Especially from other flippers, makers, and them getting behind what I'm. I'm just having fun, you know. So if, if other people are enjoying it, great. The moment people start hating it, then I'll stop. I don't know. <laughs> No, I'm, but, I'm honestly surprised that, like, like there haven't been more, like, interviews within this community. I feel like there's only, like, a handful of them. I think that's part, you know, I have my YouTube channel. Uh, sorry, I'm adjusting my camera here. There we go. You know, I have my YouTube channel, and I'm surprised, too. I'm like, why? I want to know more. You know, I'll search a knife or a Bali song maker. I'll search about a flipper, search somebody's name. You know, I find some information, but not a lot. And, and uh I get into that sort of stuff. So I want to know about the different flippers or the makers and what they're doing. But I think a lot of it's so current and happening like now that yeah. there's just not a lot out there. So for me, this is, uh, you know, I don't, this is just, you know, I don't monetize my channel. I would if I had more views, shit, you know, if I could make some money, why not? Yeah. But I do this because I like it and I love it. And, uh, and I think it's fun conversations to have. You know, yeah, it helps sure. promote the shop, I guess. I own a shop that I sell knives at. Yeah, I and that, I guess it helps in some ways, but um, but it's more because I started selling knives because I collect knives, you know. So it's all because I like this stuff, you know. Gotcha. Anyway, where do you live? Uh, I'm in New Jersey. <laughs> I'm on, yeah, I'm Nathan. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm on, I'm on the East Coast. I'm three hours ahead of you. It's... 8.05 for me right now. Okay, still early, but... Yeah. Yeah. 
What are you drinking? I'm drinking a. Are you drinking anything? I'm drinking. Uh, I was thinking about beer. having a beer, but I, I don't drink too much anymore. I, I got a water. That's good. I was good. thinking yeah. about grabbing a Heineken out of the fridge, but I decided against it. Yeah. I have a cold right now, so I don't know. I should be drinking water, but this was cold and it's really hot here today. So I decided to have a root beer. Um, anyways, um, how old are you? I am 21. I'll be 22 in September. Man, awesome. Love it. Um, and how long have you been flipping? Uh, too long. Uh, I think I'm at, what, like eight and a half years at this point. I've been, but I started when I was like 12, 13 years old. So I've been doing it for a while. Then what was your first Bali song at that age? Uh, so I got, do you know what like a Regal Flipper is? No. It's like, yeah, you, <laughs> you have two nice of knives. So like, I bet you didn't even go to like CCCs or anything. It's oh, like, I have, I have, I have, I've done a few of those. It's, it's like, it's pretty much just like a CCC that falls apart within like a week. And I had that and then for my, that fell apart in a week. So I didn't have it. I didn't flip for, I flipped for like a week and then I didn't for like however many months until my mom got me like a Bear Ops B201, like the, the trainer for my, my 13th birthday. And that's, nice. that's where I actually like started flipping. Nice. Um, and what influenced you? What, what got you curious about that? Did you see some videos where you, what was it that made you curious? So I've, I've always been like fascinated with manipulating objects with my hands. Like I remember I tried getting into pen spinning at one point. And that's just ridiculously hard. So I gave up on that. Yeah. And then I was hanging out with my cousin one day and he he was talking about having one. I'm just like, wait, that that seems pretty pretty cool. And then I my mom wouldn't let me get a sharp one, so I had to get a trainer. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how many parents I have coming at contacting, you know coming into the shop with their kids who know that I sell squid stuff and they want to come in and get something. Their, their parents have no idea. And they're like, Oh, my kid's getting into knives and I'm and they want me to come here and buy him a knife. I'm like, first of all, <laughs> like, this is a good thing. It's cool. Like it's like skateboarding. It's, you know, they're not into violence. They're into fidgety fun toys. So right. they, yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Um, so yeah, so was there? Were you into knives at a, as a kid? Did you have like? Were you into pocket knives? To be because I started with pocket knives, collecting a lot of pocket knives, and then I was into every method of deployment. And I was like, oh, I should get a Bali song. And then I realized there was this whole community of people, and I started learning tricks. Yeah. But I started with pot. My collection started with pocket knives. Yeah, I never. I mean, even now, like I only have like two two knives that aren't valleys and like i i never was too into knives i always thought knives were cool but um the only i think like the only knife i ever had was like i remember i wanted a, a swiss army knife when i was like 10 years old and my mom's just like all right if i get you one you got to join boy uh Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts or whatever it was. <laughs> and I agreed to it and I got the pocket knife and I just never ended up doing Boy Scouts. So got a I got a knife out of it. <laughs> so you came like, let me guess, your route was like Rubik's Cube Bali songs or something like that. Like more figure with your hands, like solving puzzles. And yeah. More so. No, I've always like been into, I don't know. I've just always been fascinated with hand manipulation like like people doing zippo tricks um the the baglery i think that stuff all looks like i don't know it's just very fascinating to me what about did you ever get into like yo-yos or uh kan kadama or whatever kandama i can never say it right but... i tried doing kandama a few, that kandama is just like ridiculously hard and requires it is. 
not only requires so much skill, but like you got to be like physically fit. And I'm like breaking a sweat and like out of breath after like 10 minutes of doing it. And like, what was the other one? Yeah, yo yoing. That I, I could never even like do like the basic yo yo. Like, I couldn't even like throw it down and like catch it back up. But right. <laughs> I was also too afraid of like smacking it in my head when <laughs> I do it. So I just never bothered. Um, and so now, obviously, you progressed just by did you? And so when you first got your first volley song, were you immediately like full on all the time? practicing or was did it build up the more or did you put it down for maybe a year or did you or was it always because it's probably I'm sure you flip now every single day right for the most part I definitely because I mean when I first got the regal flipper it fell apart in like a week so I kind of had to put it down for a time but like I remember when I first got that I was I would never put it down. It was like to the point where like my hands and knuckles were like bruising up. Cause I didn't know how to like really open it. So I was just like smacking it up against my knuckles, not knowing what I was doing. Were but, you watching tutorials or anything at that time? Yeah, I try, I tried watching them a few times. Like they're helpful to an extent, but like, I don't know. It's it just never really, I find it more helpful, like watching like a, uh, a slow-mo version or like just like a slowed down clip of someone doing the trick. Nice. But. Yeah. And, and how many hours a day do you feel like you flip now or, or at your peak when you were like wanting to learn a lot? See, like that, that's the thing. I started when I was like 13 years old. So my only responsibility was like going to school and, doing homework that I didn't do and so like I had all this free time when I was just like this little kid and like that's all I did pretty I would just play video games or like flip my knife and like even when I would go to hang out with my friends I remember I'd always bring it with me I'd be flipping it the whole time but now like now that I'm becoming more of an adult I got more adult responsibilities so I don't really, I don't have as much time to flip anymore, but I always keep a knife in my pocket usually. So like if I ever do have any downtime, I'll pull it out, flip around for a few minutes. I guess I could jump to that question that uh, since you talked about adult responsibilities, do you have a job? What do you do right now? Yeah. So right now I'm going, I'm going to school. So my, I have a part-time job of delivering pizza until until i'm out of school i deliver pizza i don't now but i i've done the deliver pizza thing when i was probably your age uh, i mean it's, it's good for what it is it's just not not a not a realistic career no it's it's to pay some bills and to have a job you know yeah exactly oh I should have, I should have, yeah. yeah, I should have had my belt on for this. I should have had it around my shoulder. Oh, yeah, you should. Should I go get it? You know, let's see that thing. Yeah, I guess, I guess I can go get it because I forget who just said it. Yeah, you can go. We'll wait for you. <laughs> I forget who, someone just brought it up, but now it's not letting me scroll up in the chat. I guess I'll never know. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go get the belt. I don't know how to go about carrying this in like a normal way, so I'm just gonna have it on my shoulder. Oh, so what's on there? Um, bunch of soft metal and glitter and rhinestones like you can see it like there's not it's just glitter right here and actually like gets on your fingers and stuff who made that do you know um i was told by corbin 
honestly, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be saying this, but apparently it's been ma- it was made by like uh, the people that make like the WWE belts. So apparently it's like a legitimate belt. That's supposedly. awesome. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's yeah. that. Very cool. Um, we'll come back to some of that stuff. Let's see. Um, what's your favorite knife right now to flip? Um, I mean, I slightly spoke about that. Yeah, I'd, I'd say probably the tsunami since I also because I haven't had it for so long. So it's like I, I like forgot what it flipped like. So. What's your collection like right now? What, um, you said you only have a few or something right now. No, I got. I got a good chunk, actually. I don't even. I don't even know, like, the actual. I can just show you my little pelican case. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got a decent amount, but yeah. nothing too crazy. But yeah, the, yeah. Tsunami, the tsunami really flips really good, man. It, it really oh. does. Yeah. Um. Do you know what what production do you have? Do you know? I have production three. I think it is. Let me look again. Yeah, production three, number sixty eight. Gotcha. Yeah, the, every every like batch of tsunamis I flip just got crazier and crazier. What's yours? This is like so. Stacey and I got the we got like the first tsunamis. Like this was we got these two before the first like right before the first production. Okay. Drop. Yes, yeah, so I don't. I don't have the the jumping on the side or anything. What's your favorite trick to uh, to do? Uh, I guess you like uh, not like a specific trick. I guess I like ladder type stuff. Like the I like Andre's. Um, just dropped it. But the the infinity ladder, yeah, yeah, that's a pretty neat trick. Is there a trick that you're working on right now that you're having trouble with? Does Does Joff have trouble with tricks? Trying <laughs> trying to keep up with anything that um, that Igor does. Okay, Igor Igor is yeah. the the best in the game right now. That's one of my questions on here is who you thought was the best in the game right now. Oh yeah. Do you think you think it's Igor, huh? Yeah, I mean, I, like I, I don't, I, I honestly don't know, like how much, like I, I don't pay attention to, to new flippers too much, so I don't, I honestly don't know, like if there is anyone crazier than Igor, but yeah, Igor is insane. Like he, he does mind bending tricks. But you do, uh, and this was one of my comments or questions later on, but I'll bring it up now because you kind of touched on it, is you do, one thing I like about you is that you're involved in the community. You, you know, you give support to younger flippers, like somebody like Chicken Man. I see you growing down with him. I mean, who doesn't love Chicken Man, right? He's probably on the block. He's the man. Yeah, he is, man. He's an awesome guy. Um, but you know you are a part of the community and you and you put some time into it and i and give some time to younger flippers which is i think really and us older flippers man you're giving time to to me right now so i think that's pretty cool uh, just trying to to give back to the community i guess i don't know gotta i don't know i'm not too sure i just i don't know the community it has a lot of cool people in it and like I don't know, like Chicken Man. He's, I don't, I don't even know how old he he is, but he's he's young and. I think he's thirteen. That's crazy. Yeah, he's like gotten like in the last month he got a lot better quick. Like yeah. it was like, like he he was already doing really good, but then now this last month, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh man, like Chicken Man upped his game. No, uh, I I can't deny. Like I I honestly thought. When I went, I went up against him in the the Blade West comp. I honestly thought that he was gonna he's gonna get me out. Right? Yeah. I mean, because what if you dropped it? You know? Right. And he didn't. You know? That's how it's that lucky punch situation that can happen. Yeah. All right. What are some of your favorite makers when it comes to Bali songs? I mean, I know 
squid obviously but is there what other do you like brs a lot what do you what do you flip a lot um yeah i definitely i like brs was definitely the the main brand back in the day like pretty like that was like the only those were the only quality knives out there when i when i first got into it so i i, I pretty much like i grew up on brs i guess but then like now there's just so many makers in the game at this point like it's 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 hard to have a favorite but i mean squid's yeah, definitely a lot of there. sorry I definitely like um wb concept he's he's a homie uh dc he's his knives are crazy i got one of his genesis yeah and uh yeah like joe jk they're all they're all killing the game right now yeah. Yeah, I got really into BRS just because I didn't even know that they were really a good flipping knife or anything. I was like, what's this Blade Runner systems? I love that movie, Blade Runner. I was right. a huge fan of the Blade Runner movie. And so then I started looking into that knife and I realized that they were actually a legitimate company. And I was like, damn, named after one of my favorite movies, I'll buy one of those. And then the AB was I had before the replicant. I love the AB, man. Every time I pick up an AB, it feels like it just feels good. ABs are good, and I have one of these right now, like uh, in front. Is that of a me. hammer modded jab? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, love that. Um, uh, so okay, so why are you not sponsored right now? Um, I'm just. Like I'm, I'm always gonna endorse Squid no matter what because not only are they, in my opinion, I think like they're the best company in the game right now, and also, like, they're they're great friends of mine. But it's yeah. just like so, I'm I'm always gonna represent them. It's just life's been busy. I haven't had as much time to flip, so I, I haven't been able to pump out content like I've, like I've been wanting to. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I mean, I'm sure you, a lot of companies would love to have you flipping for them and stuff, seems like to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, are you going to be in Atlanta and flip in the next competition? Uh, I would say I, I have a wedding to attend. So unfortunately, it's during the weekend that Blade's happening. So that's the one. This is going to be the one blade that I'm going to miss, but hopefully I'll go like every year after. Or maybe you'll do your wedding and then immediately fly there. Or <laughs> That would be <laughs> tough to do. Rockstar treatment, man. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> um, um, do you ever imagine making your own knife or helping somebody make a knife that you could be part of? Or has that ever been presented to you? I mean that that'd be cool to have some sort of influence on like a knife design, but I, I honestly don't think I'd be able to make one myself because not only is it like you really gotta pay attention to detail on those, but also it's like I feel like there's it's really hard to come up with a design now because so many of the designs have been done at this point, so. I like. I honestly don't even know where I'd go about. Okay. Um. Uh. Do you see drama in the community after ever? Do you let that stuff affect you? Things like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there's always drama in the community. Like this is like this is a very interesting community. Like uh, I've, I've never seen drama like in this community but um i don't know like honestly like it's just like I, I don't let it like get to me or anything it's just if anything it's like it's like entertaining to me it's like it's like tmz you know what i mean All right yeah people love to complain about a lot of things oh i bought this knife from this person that had tap or yeah. you know <laughs> like, oh there, there this i got this knife i bought this knife off of somebody and had play that you know this you know they're very unforgiving sometimes you know like 
oh, you know, BRS has gone to shit and all, you know, all this stuff. And I was like, wow, you know, people have these really strong opinions. And it's good to have a strong opinion, but it's also good. I think it's easier for people to have opinions behind a screen nowadays. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, but, and that goes for people's person. It's really easy to like call people out or, do you know, like talk shit about somebody with that from behind a screen rather without knowing a whole story or knowing, you know, the, the context of something. Yeah, um, they, they would never bring that energy, that same energy in person. Right. All right. Sorry. Crossing off some of my list here. Um, where do you see the belly song community headed? Do you think it's going to keep growing? Do you think that there, do you think that it can get a little bit more mainstream or do you like how skateboarding grew? Do you feel like it has that potential? I mean, because if you look I, it's at honestly Squid, tough. it's huh? tough because like it like flipping is it, it's always been like a very like like small tight knit community. Like I know like the Facebook forums like like I don't know like mo mostly like the 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 OGs of the community like they're really like trying to keep it tight knit. But it's like inevitable that it's gonna get bigger, and like, like I didn't think that it would. Like I, when I first started flipping, I never imagined that it'd get to where it's at now. Like, like the the squid flipping comp video has like over a million views. PewDiePie saw it, so now like squid and PewDiePie, they're like, you know, what I mean, it's like. Never did I think that I'd be on PewDiePie's channel. Like, I used to watch him when I was a kid, and now he's watching me. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. What's funny is I don't even know who that is. That's how much older. Oh, he's, <laughs> like, he's like the biggest, he's the biggest YouTuber. Or, oh, I've, know, heard his, he's, I've heard his name, but I've never, you know, never paid attention. Yeah, I mean, it's... He's, is he one of those guys that... What is he? What is his content like? Um, it's mostly I know it used to be like video games and whatnot. I don't. I'm not too sure. I think it's more so like him just reacting to videos now. But regardless, like he's still huge. I probably have seen his stuff. I, I really don't know. I don't always pay attention to that stuff very well myself either. But uh, um, uh, we be uh. Oh man, we covered all those. Uh, uh, what's up and coming for you? Anything interesting coming up for you concerning Bali songs or? Um, I mean, I'd like to get some some videos out there. I know some people want want to see some videos from me, and may I don't know. Maybe I'll just schedule a day where. I'll dedicate time to like actually filming and editing a video. Yeah. Do you, cause I noticed you don't have a lot of videos up right now. You take them down as you go and kind of keep the ones that you think are worthy up there. Uh, yeah. Like I, I used to have them all up, but it's just like, I got to a point where once I started filming with like my camera and whatnot, I kind of just wanted to have like a, just a certain like quality standard on my account. I didn't want to just have like, like videos that I thought were, were trash. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. Do you, somebody asked you? Do you ever think of starting a YouTube or doing something like that, your own channel, like or doing uh, uh, tutorials or stuff like that? Yeah, I've, I've thought about doing um, like a podcast, but. I, that's like it's so much work to do a podcast. It's I feel it's definitely more than a one man job. So yeah. I feel like I I need more. I need someone to help me out with doing a podcast. Yeah, this stuff takes a lot of time. Doing what I'm doing, doing my YouTube channel. I have the help of my friend Xavier at times, but he's more of like a sidekick with me during the filming. But uh, yeah, it eats up a lot of my time. But Again, I, I try, that's why I do it so low budget, kind of. I don't do go high quality Will Hirsch. I do everything on my phone. So just kind of make it as quick and easy as possible. Um, what else do you enjoy? What other hobbies you got? Uh, 
Not too much. I mean, I watch, I watch a good amount of UFC. That's that that usually occupies my time. Otherwise, I watch some UFC. Who's your favorite fighter? Uh, probably at the moment he's a he's kind of new. Um, Kevin Holland, Trailblazer. Okay. What about Rose Namajunas? Do you like her? She's kind of cool. Yeah, I yeah I I respect her. I just think um, I don't know something something about her just saying like I'm the best. I'm the best. <laughs> it, it just like rubs me the wrong way for some reason. I don't know. I think she has to psych herself out because she you know, yeah has to be like yeah. Um, cool. Maybe we should take some questions from some viewers. See what's going on out there. Yeah, I think the the comments are like broken on my. Okay. My... If somebody here, I'll throw them up on here, and I'll see if, and I'll read some off to you as they come in. So I'm not going to go back, you guys. I'm just going to go forward. So any new questions coming in, just let me throw them out there. Um. Somebody said they will not watch your podcast. That was Jack Coos. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want them watching my podcast anyways. <laughs> Jeffrey Cast. The Joff Cast. Uh, oops, let's see here. Uh, what do you eat for breakfast? Um... I, I honestly, I don't normally eat breakfast. I normally, I'll go into work and maybe like have a slice of pizza when I get in there. All right. Somebody said you'd be highly respected if you did tutorial videos and would be highly sought after. It, I mean, I'm, I'm terrible at explaining. That's the thing. Like I, I did a tutorial for Squid and I feel like it, it ended up, it was a terrible tutorial. Like, I feel like I didn't explain anything. <laughs> then somebody asked, what do you think of the Mayiko V4.5? Oh, the Mako? Oh, somebody oh, said yeah, Mako. I, I don't know why they said, I, <laughs> I think they're saying Mako. Yeah, the Mako is sweet. I, I haven't, I ne I've never really had too much time with the the V4. But, I mean, like, I know that there were some complaints on the V4, but, like, from what I'm experiencing with the 4.5, I, I would imagine all the problems from the V4 were fixed on 4.5. Like, this thing's pretty, pretty smacking. All right, what's the worst cut you've ever gotten? Worst cut it was probably when uh, I first got my Monarch, and I went to I went to catch a scissor, but it was on the I caught the edge right here, and it just like I don't even think it sliced or anything. It was just like you know how some of JK's knives can come; they can come pretty sharp. Yeah. So like it, it was like within the first week or two of having it, so it, was, it still had a nasty edge, and then it just. It just, I think it was just the pressure from from that, and it just like chopped my finger. And I remember, like, for the longest time, I like lost feeling in that section of my finger. Did you get stitches? I probably should have, but I just put a band aid on it. That's <laughs> just that's just how we do it. Have you ever helped Squid in terms of design or anything along those lines? Um. I don't, I mean, whenever, when I'll, whenever I'll be in, um, whenever I see Lucas and whatnot, he'll usually, like, talk to me about his stuff, or, or he'll have something for me to try out and give me, uh, for me to give him feedback on, and, I mean, I, like, I always think his stuff's great. I, I never really have too much critique. I think, like, I honestly don't know if I had any impact on it. I remember Lucas asked if I would make any, like, changes to the tsunami. And the only thing I said was the jimping on the side, and then they added the jimping. So I don't know if that, that was because I, I'm sure 
other people said it too. Yeah. Well, Clockwork says that he'll help you with a podcast if you're interested. Yeah, yeah. Jared and I are pretty close to each other, so we can definitely work something out. Yeah, Clockwork. So I like his travel, like when he's traveling, as some of his his YouTube stuff. I thought that's really cool. Yeah, he I travels like the world. Yeah, I enjoy watching that. Good job, Clockwork. I like that. Come visit San Diego and we'll hang out. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, and how did it, here's something that I thought, it, so it's Jeffrey, Jeff, Joff. How did it become Joff? Uh, is it a joke? Uh, I mean, what's the deal? Yeah, there? It is a huge joke. Pretty like much. A na something nasty or? <laughs> no, it's not, it's not anything nasty. Um, basically like. I was thinking like Jack Off or something. <laughs> <laughs> no basically um have you ever watched game of thrones yeah uh there you ever see the, the king joffrey or i know uh, yeah thrones, yeah but um one of my sister's friends watched it and every time he would come over he he would be like hey joff and then one day like my friends were over and he said hey joff but they thought his they thought his voice sounded hilarious and so like then they would just start like imitating him and being like hey joff whenever oh. they would see me and the next thing i know i'm being called joff all right okay yeah. <laughs> now here we are ask joff if he would make pizza cooking tutorials I, I don't make any of the pizza. I just have it made for me, and then I send it off. Uh, Sage is asking what your McDonald's order is. <laughs> Get the McGangbang, which is a McDouble and a McChicken, and then a large fry, a large Coke, and some sometimes Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Sage, Sage, I'd like to get you on here on the interview uh, sometime too, and Clockwork. Um, now that Sage dethroned you uh, on the West Coast competition, you know. Yeah, but I, I guess get... was there a throne on the West? Was it? I guess. How does that work? How was that working? Is there an East Coast title and a West Coast title? I guess, I guess so, because, like, I remember, like, Corbin didn't go to, when he won 2019, it's, he didn't go to West, so it's not like he could exactly defend his title, but also the Blade, Blade East comps, those are the ones that have the belts, and, like, I feel right, like there's like, no belt that, for the West Coast, right? Yeah, there should be, the West Coast that's belt. pretty sweet, but, yeah. I mean, maybe uh, in the future, yeah, maybe Salt Lake City. What's your favorite toe size, Sagey wants to know? <laughs> I didn't realize there was such thing as a toe size. If that was just your, your whole foot as is. Pain and Suffering says, Joff is a big influence and was the first flipper he followed. That's cool. Area 51 is on here. Can I be your plus one at the wedding? <laughs> Area 51. How about you should get one of his Bali songs and say then say yes you can come with me for, <laughs> for one of his Bali songs for a I would, I would if I wasn't bringing my girlfriend. Let's see, Pluto or a girlfriend? Um, <laughs> Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's move on here. Pluto and Dylan. How, what a combo. somebody asked if you've ever considered becoming religious. I don't, I don't know if that's a real question, but why the hell would anybody do that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe yeah, you are. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't like you... aggravate anybody with with any like. I feel like religion's like kind of like a controversial topic. It is. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I was my comment was joking, but I think if people want to be religious, that's up to them, and everybody has their own opinion. Uh, I don't hate you if you are. Don't hate me if I'm not. Exactly. Yeah. Um, 
I don't belong to subscribe to anything personally, but uh, let's see. Pizza equals flipper food. Um, somebody's asking you to remember them when you're famous from your podcast. Uh, opinion on illegal drugs. What's your opinion on illegal drugs? Illegal drugs, like, well, weed's illegal in some places, and yeah. crack's illegal. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, man, if you, if you, I get it, not, nothing's illegal unless you get caught. So, if if you want to do something like that, then that that's on you. I, I can't stop anybody. Best gas station tr snack for road trips. Sagey wants to know. Best gas station snack. Um, I don't know. I mean, usually when I'm like on t doing a road trip, like I'll leave as soon as I get up, so I like won't. I wouldn't have eaten, so I'll usually get like like those like beef jerky sticks or something just so I can get like some protein up in me. Somebody's asking if you like cinnamon bread. <laughs> cinnamon bread's pretty good. Did Think you name your Bali? What did I name my Bali? Yeah. Oh, man, do I need to have a name for each knife? Worst Bali still in production that isn't CCC. Worst Bali. I don't know. I don't want to offend anybody. Oh, oh, the lucha. That yeah. thing's terrible. I hate the lucha. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I'm sorry. It's like a horrible knife. It really is. Yeah. And so a few of my friends have them, and I feel really bad. I'll work on them. I'll put the I'll get get the the fly tie handles, and I put them on for them. I'm like, okay, it's better, but I still hate it. Yeah, it's just like I don't know what they were thinking putting it on. They were the thinking money. They were th that was the most most sold knife on Blade HQ was the Lucha in twenty twenty, and they ripped a lot of people off for that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Those poor those poor people. Yeah, it's, they think they're getting their, like their first quality ballast song is going to flip awesome. Yeah, Nardath is on here, dude. Nardath, what's up? What up, dude, Nardath? was one i have to go nardath i followed him he was my first person that blew my mind i was like i want to do what that guy's doing so nardath oh, yeah, dude. he's definitely dude. one of the first people I, I watched yeah he was the one that got me into it i gotta say and he's on here watching so i gotta give that props right now everybody some of his flipping videos where he's in the snow like on that submarine or whatever the hell, wherever the heck he is. Have you seen some of those? Yeah, they're like they're hidden he in his on YouTube. Like some sort of a, like work trip. But yeah, yeah, no, he would be. He would do some insane stuff for videos. Like he literally, he lost his forty-two for a video. He dropped it in uh, in a river. He was just flipping over, like right next to like a cliff. Yeah, he was, he's great. And then he, he's so good at that Kandama stuff, too, man. Yeah. No, he's insane. Somebody's asking what your favorite marijuana strain in is. Marijuana. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know, honestly. Can you make a double draft tutorial, Nardath is asking? Uh, uh, I don't know whether that's like, I feel like he's being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. Roman, uh, what Bali would you uh, suggest? Got a beater that isn't a squid. Uh, somebody's asking instead of a squid, what beater would you recommend? Um, I mean, you can't go wrong with like a, a replicant. Those th or like an alpha beast. Those things will last you forever. Um. I just got. I have like this atropo, so I feel like these things are pretty solid. This is only like a hundred something bucks. Thoughts on purple Urkel? Purple or is that like a strain? I've never heard of purple Urkel. It must be. How often do you visit Squid? Um, I mean, I 
I usually go out and visit Andre. He lives out there and he works at Squid. So um, I, I've been doing it like once a year for the past two years. So it, I don't know. Maybe I'll go out this summer again. Yeah, Joff can only kind of see the comments or can't. Somebody's asking. Um, I think it's like frozen for me. That's okay. I'm kind of, it's almost easier this way. Then you can just focus on answering them and not worry about it. Um, uncut gems. Maybe that's another strain. I don't know. Uh, oh, uncut gems. That's uh, the movie with, with Adam Sandler. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. That's a good one. I actually haven't seen it. Um, A tutorial on how to be a pizza driver. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Gundis? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, uh, also, they just wanted to hear me say that. Um, <laughs> MC Gangbang. Uh, who's the cutest in the community? Um. Uh, definitely, definitely, uh, definitely Lucas or Seiji. I don't know. Jelly is pretty cute. Yeah, je je Jelly, Jelly and Seiji both look like they belong in, in, uh, a K-pop band. So, they're definitely, that, that's definitely, uh, extra points for me. Uh, tutorials on your schoolwork. Uh, oh man. Okay, Seiji, yeah, I'll hit you up. Um, you can do an interview with Seiji. That would be. That's definitely one on the works here. Uh, do you have any plans to get a better job? I feel like I'm really oh. behind on these comments, you guys. I'm trying to get to them. Um, Let's see. What's your favorite yeah. food as of now? Tutorial on assemble the MC gangbang, please. <laughs> oh, it's easy. You just take off the top bun of the McChicken and then put the McDouble on the McChicken. Ah. How long have you known Seiji? Uh, I think since I was like 14. I want to say. You guys have known each other a long time. What's your favorite shoe? Favorite shoe? Um, can't go wrong with the, with the Air Force One. I don't know. Did you help somebody get their money back in New Jersey? Did I help somebody get their money back in New Jersey? Oh man, I lost it here where I was. Uh, favorite clothing brand? Uh, Squid Industries merch. Somebody's asking you to do a Chip Dick Chaplin. I'd love to see that too right now. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, oh man, I kind of lost my place. I'm having to go scroll around. So I'm missing some of these, you guys. Um, How many flipper friends do you have? <laughs> a lot. How do you choker so long? Yeah, you do do a long choker fan. Can you do the infinity choker or infinite choker? I mean, that's that's one trick I've never been able to do. I just, I don't know. I, I don't think my chokers are anything out of the ordinary. Your little palm fan closing thing is really nicely done um you oh, uh, well it's like a reverse palm fan then closing or something you do i don't know you did it on that video of the Cerrone that i have and it just looked really smooth so nice let me think I'm trying to think what i did in that oh 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 are you talking about this well, you, well, yeah, you, there's the wrist bump and all that, but you did, when you close it and then you go up 
and then you kind of just did this little ending closing thing that was really smooth. And it was from a Palm fan. Let me think. <laughs> I don't know. You should Was go back that? and watch that video because whatever you did looks, I'll point it out to you. It's not in the slow-mo version. It's in one of the, because I did like two different edits of that. Uh, let's go forward here. Uh, where is Apple Toss? Oh, nowhere to be seen. He was a, he's an old community troll. Somebody had lost their crack and wants you to help them find it. Um, Dick Chaplin, damn it. <laughs> uh, Mako or Atropos? Definitely the Mako. I would say, I mean, it, it's, the thing is, the Atropos is a live blade. Like, I would, I'd, I'd rather have a live blade, but like if they had like a make a live blade or something, that'd be sweet. Have you ever been scammed on the secondary? I don't no, I have not, thankfully. But I also I don't do too many. Is like, the somebody's asking if the Genesis is good and is the nine fifty nine a good price for a scratched one? Yes, the Genesis is good and that's a good price. Yeah. Yeah, I mean if just turn it into a beater if it's scratched. It's definitely, it can definitely withhold the beating. Yeah, they're built really well. I have a Gen 1 and a Gen 2, and I love them. Yeah, unfortunately, I only got one. But this one's a Gen 2. Somebody was asking if you use KPL for your, your lube. Mm. Our Area 51 was, if you can confirm that, according to a source familiar with the thinking of Squid Industries, you use KPL, whatever. Let's see. I actually do not use K. I used to use KPL until that whole, like, fiasco happened with them. And then, um, yeah, and that, that was all involved with um, FBL, fl like, flipping blade oil. And then... Like, I don't know, I just didn't, I kind of just took a step back, but then, like, FBL, like, asked me if I wanted to, to be sponsored, and I'm like, because I think FBO, if you guys haven't tried FBO, definitely try it. I think it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I I saw this, like, flip this one, flipping blade right Oh, the back. watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff. Yeah. I could just smell it all day. Yeah, no, they, they smell good. Nice. Let's see here. Uh, another one that you see once. Uh, Yang flips. Joff, who is a friend that you see once in a while? Like a flipper friend? Um Probably uh, Seiji. He's only he's like a three and a half hour drive for me. So every now and then I'll take a drive out to him. Have you flipped a TAC clone? Yeah, I have. I have the TAC clone. It, it literally is a uh, identical to a real TAC. What's the best valley under three fifty to you? Probably the Kraken easily. Can't beat the price of a Kraken. Uh, will you tell everyone the story of Andrew Capora? Uh, yeah, that and back when I used to live stream a lot, and back when there were there used to be like a lot of like Russian flippers. And Andrew Kapora was like, he was like the, he, he was just like the, known as like the Russian flipper, I guess. And 
so then all these one one time I was streaming and then like one of the Russian guys was <laughs> like, you know Andrew Kapora? And I'm like, I don't know who Andrew Kapora is and then I don't know, I guess they're like bamboozled that I didn't know who Andrew Kapora was. So then they just kept on like trolling me by like bringing up Andrew Kapoor every <laughs> eventually I figured out like I found out who he was and he is a good flipper I don't know if he still like flips but he pretty good what's a good trick to learn after behind the eight ball or helix um reverse behind the eight ball <laughs> maybe like a helix aerial because like you can throw it from both those tricks yeah Dade you wants to know what animal you'd be reincarnated as probably um a sloth nice. just hangs out in a tree all day and only comes down to go boom boom <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Um, have you flipped a... Oh, yeah, I asked that. Um, let's go. Would you rather get hit by a freight train or find a fun $20 on the ground? Uh, okay. Definitely find $20 on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I huff my lube as well. No biggie. Um, let's see. Uh, who do you think should be also sponsored by Squid? Is there somebody you think? Um, I think Ollie, Ollie Rev is crazy. His quality's been killer lately. And uh, Graham would be a good contender if he actually posted. Best clown. Attack two, because it's literally attack two. Jack Coos, am I ignoring your questions? I'm sorry. Ask it again. I'm sorry. I some of my questions got lost in the thread here, so ask it again. I'm not trying purposely ignoring your question, uh, unless it was just too ridiculous and I moved on. <laughs> Max price you'd pay for a tsunami. Um, they've been, they're ridiculous secondhand. It's crazy. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I feel like knives should be what they're retailed for, but this, not, it's not the case. It's like, it's almost, it's like with Supreme where like they instantly sell out and then they're resold for insane profit. What's your favorite Squiddy? Definitely the time on Squiddy D because it's like, I don't know. I think it looks really cool with the colors with black. Uh, somebody said sloths go boom, boom while staying in the tree, actually. Oh, they do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, never did too much research on sloths. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, shit. Damn it. See, I lost it again. Where was I? What motivates you to flip? Um, I don't know. It's just, it's almost like a, it's like a stress, it's a stress toy. Just get a, unless I'm recording, that's when it gets stressful. But when, if I'm just trying to like relax and flip, it's usually like just I don't know. It's fun to do. Ollie Rev should be sponsored. Jelly says I agree. And yeah. Jelly, by the way, I almost messaged you to see if you wanted to do one of these interviews, but um, I haven't yet, just because I I don't want to get too backed up. But uh, I would love to do one with you too. Jelly's one of my favorite flippers right now. I love watching his stuff. Yeah, he's insane with it. He's only been flipping for like like two, three years or something. Crazy. Um, K 
Can you say hi to Brian, please? Thanks, Mr. Jofferson. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Best clown. Best clown? Uh, I don't know what clowns are out there. Maybe it maybe meant to say clone. Maybe they did. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what sure, clone. what's the best clone then? Did we go over that, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, definitely the, the tag two. Yeah. Uh, the... Jack's questions are never ridiculous. Then where are they? <laughs> oh, there he is. Thank you, Jared. Well, where's the question? They're <sighs> the questions are necessary. Does your flipping abilities make you more marketable male? <laughs> you, no. <yeah>. I, no. <laughs> yeah, does like flipping have sex appeal like skateboarding does? Like skaters get like, you know, there's like a sex appeal like the bad boy. I think there's I a... I think it depends on like the, the the woman. Uh, I feel like a lot of them find it like kind of like like just weird. But then there's some that are just like they see it as like like dangerous, and they're all I don't know. But I feel yeah. like a lot of them find it find flipping around knives as like toys to be kind of weird. So it, uh, it is kind of weird when you think about it. Like why, Luckily, why I got I got married after I got married before I got into flipping because my wife probably would have never married me <laughs> if I was already flipping. Oh man, no, she's actually a really good sport. She's learned. She helps me pack orders. She's learned about Bali songs. She knows the difference of things when people write our website about things. She knows about them and she knows a basic open, and that's about it. So. Uh, let's see here. Let's get, uh, Jack, where's your damn question, Jack? I He's probably just trolling. Jack, who's, probably never this asked. is what he wrote. I like to think I peel back the layers of the hot bottom, bottom button issues. Okay, well, peel back a layer. Let's hear the damn question, buddy. <laughs> uh, I just got a clear squiddy today, such as a funny flipper. Uh, Jeff, are, are you happy? Oh man, clockwork's getting all deep now. Yeah, I'm happy. All right. Are you clockwork? Yeah, Nick is on here. Nick uh, just says fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably miss like the whole thing. <laughs> um... Do you saw Jeff? I turn 18 on the 20th. Want to see a collab I'm doing? Who said that? Uh, Sebastian Camps. Oh, I'll, I'll look at it. He shows me it. Beaver flips. Let's go. What motivates you? Oh man, didn't we? Am I back? Best. Oh my God, did I go backwards now? This Instagram shit is. All right, let's go. Yeah, it's all laggy once it's uh, when there gets more than one person. Oh, Jack, who's here? We go, Joff. Okay, J Joff, what's your ethnic background? <laughs> um, I don't know why I found that so funny. Yeah, after all this, he asks that. Like, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> I'm Chinese, and I don't even know what my dad is. I think I'm like, a quarter German and a quarter Irish, but I, I honestly have no clue. I gotta get like a, an ancestry test. Clockwork says uh, he's not happy. He's just horny. <laughs> Down bad. Best BRS. Um, probably. I mean, the replicants definitely good. I got. I like the, the carbon fiber alt. It's pretty good. It's probably the, I don't know. It's definitely the best balance, in my opinion. Nice. Um, are you going to do more lives? I think that's maybe towards me, maybe. Yeah, there are going to be some more lives. 
Speaking of, uh, I'll, I'll throw a few out there that I'm working on, Sagey, Jelly, um, but Area 51 is coming up. I'm gonna do one with Machine Wise, um, uh, Fellowship Blades. Uh, there's a few that I'm working on. So there's several coming up and I'm open to suggestions. I wanna get Nardath or somebody like that. There's, there's uh, oh, Levin, uh, Corbin, Levin's been talking to him yesterday. So there's some ideas coming around. I just, it's like a timing thing and how much energy I have. Uh, I've been trying to do them every week, but that's kind of wild. Uh, uh, let's see. How do you can counteract dingleberries? It's a dire emergency. Somebody's asking. They need your professional opinion. Just don't get dinkleberries to begin with, and then problem solved, because it's never a problem to begin with. Oh, here's a good question. Here's a finally a normal question. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'd like to th point this person out right now. Uh, Migs Roses, am I saying that right? They want to know, what's your favorite video you posted? Now, there's a normal fucking question. That's a... Just kidding. That's the tough one. Uh, I really like the videos that I have posted with my my tsunamis or my my tsunami singular. I think those are pretty pretty decent videos. All right. Um, not as fun as a dingleberry, but a good question. <laughs> Uh, somebody told you to sell all your bollies and buy a McDonald's franchise. That wouldn't be a bad idea if all my bollies were worth the price of McDonald's. Yo, Joff is a vulpinator. Awesome. Uh, Shatouche or whatever. Yo, what's a... Uh, Vul what a uh, Jack Coos the uh, Vulpinator sex. I don't even know what a Vulpinator is. He, I think that's his username. He's one of my friends from back in the day. Vulpinator. Okay. Matthew. Little Matthew. People assume Asians know their bloodlines for some weird reason. Literal stereotype. All right. Now, do agree with me that. Uh, Porn is cucked. <laughs> How many uh, bollies do you own? Let's see. Oh. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> ten, fourteen. Got twenty. All right. Nice round number. Um, who else misses Joff's old live streams? That's from Pyro Flipper. What's up, Pyro? They'll come back eventually when I when I got some downtime. Uh, favorite Bali song? Kind of went over that, but you can say it again if you want. Kraken or Tsunami? How did you get into flipping? Somebody's asking. But that's earlier in the interview, so. But if you want to touch on it real quick, you can. It's just always been always been fascinated with hand manipulation. My cousin had a butterfly knife that I just started. Made me want to get my own, and now here we are. You have drone man apple juice again. Grown man apple juice. I don't know what that is. Grown man. Grown man apple juice. Yeah, I don't know. Like beer. Uh, maybe somebody's asking me that. I don't know because they're also somebody else. Do you got knives? <laughs> Whatever. How old are no, you? Job? Were, I'd be like, damn right, I got knives. Damn right, I got knives. That's how my name started. <laughs> um, it was a joke. I wanted, I was like, what's a silly name? Uh, how old are you? He's 21. 
uh, Clockwork asks why your lips look so dry. Lick the they are lips. dry. I'm trying. I'm, I don't carry chapstick or nothing, so I'm just drying them out even more by drinking water and licking my lips. Uh, some people want your social security number and address and a bank account number as well. You can just fax me that. On um, it. All right. I'll post it later. Um, why are there no pro model bollies? That's interesting. That's why not. I, I thought about it. It's pretty sick. It's just like, like valleys are already expensive as is. So like, like maybe like like a pro flipper edition, like tsunami or something would be cool. But like, because like it, it's not like a flipper would. It's not like it'd be hard. Say like Squid made like a. Uh, a pro model for each each of their sponsors that would be a lot of design work and like just like and like i don't know but if you so, look at the skateboarding as the lead you know like think of how the skateboarding community took off with all their boards and decks and sponsorships it's to me i see a lot of similarities there yeah so it's possible uh, maybe you know Maybe someday we'll see that. That would be pretty cool to see. Oops. Uh, <laughs> Jack Coos sucks at Wordle. <laughs> Do you have pets? Yeah, I got I got a little bearded dragon, and I got a an old dog. He's fourteen. I didn't even ask what a, Jack Coos is back. I didn't even ask what his bloodline was. I asked what his ethnic background is. I think everybody's just having fun here, Jack. But maybe, I don't know. I think they know you. So I don't know. Uh, does Taco Bell give you the shits? Surprisingly, no. Taco Bell does not phase me in any way, shape, or form. What's your flipping anniversary? Uh, I mean, I guess, like, my birthday is when I, I, like, actually started getting into it. And I had a knife that wouldn't fall apart in a few days. Any thoughts on the Talisan Z? Um, it's definitely, I, it's definitely a fun knife, but I don't, I don't think it's the most competitive knife because of bearings. So I think I think the bearings is what make it fun, but it's also it also like holds you back from being able to perform to the best of your ability. How's the Hydra? Um, I it's pretty cool from what I've experienced with it. I they definitely have like they they released that new spacer design for the. Hyperspacers. Um, but yeah, I mean, it seems pretty sweet. I just haven't had too much time with it. Do you have a favorite Suicide Boys album? Uh, I, I don't listen to Suicide Boys too much anymore, so I don't know if I... I can't really think of a favorite off the top of my head. What's your favorite beer? Beer. Um, I used to drink Heineken's a lot, but lately I've been drinking the the Bud Light Platinums. Those are pretty good. Um, what other hobbies do you have? I kind of asked that earlier. Let's see here. Um, what are your thoughts on the machine wise serif have you tried one yet yeah i tried it briefly i think it, it looks pretty good i cannot deny 
Um, but I, I haven't had too much time with it. But, like, I, I know people are going to be comparing it to the Tsunami because it's pretty, build-wise, it's pretty similar. But to me, they flip, like, two completely different things. So... What are your favorite knives to get colors in? To get colors? Um, I like the, the time odds on the squid knives. I think that gives it like a nice little accent. Um, what about, do you have a bearded dragon or is that? Yeah, I got him chilling right over here. I can try. I feel like if I try to take him out, he's going to freak but maybe uh, yeah, I have trying. a crusted oh. gecko yeah I have a crusted gecko yeah that's sweet yeah he's pretty that's cool funny. Henry I'll try and get this little guy out what's the name of the bearded dragon I just call him I call him Ziller I never really like decided on, a, on an actual name but I guess Ziller Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's making his first live stream appearance. He's pretty pissed off right now. But... <laughs> nice. Yeah. This this is uh Zeller. Nice. Does he run fast when he gets like down on the oh, ground? Yeah. He'll he'll jump out of my hands and dart and I'll, it takes me forever to catch him uh, favorite fast food uh, probably like Popeyes I think Popeyes is pretty good what's your weight preference on a Bali song I guess like the the lower side of four ounces how many weights do you put in your tsunami? I have one in like the the corner. That's what I have too. Yeah, I think it's like a pretty good balance. Yep, one in, in the far corner, right? Yeah. Yeah. Does squid give you free knives? Um, you got to get sponsored by squid to find out. <laughs> Uh, oops. Let's see. Uh, I think uh, I used to flip as asking if the uh, syrup is better than the tsunami. Um, I mean they're they 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 flip different. So like, it's just all about what your preference is, I guess. Have you been paying attention to the uh, Bali song comp maker Bali song competition? Yeah, I have. It's actually pretty sweet. I like the idea of it. Yeah, I use this to flip, and Death Flips have been putting that on. It's awesome yeah. that they're doing that. Super fun. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see who ends up winning that. Yeah. Can your bearded dragon flip? I wish. Maybe I'll teach him when he's fully grown. Somebody, uh, Sebastian Camps is trying to get a sponsorship. Do you have any suggestions? Um, gotta be, just gotta post content. Gotta constantly be pumping out content and try to make your next video better than your last and try to improve upon your flipping the best you can. Cool. How'd you get sponsored by Squid? Um, I'm finally at the end of the questions, and now every question that's happening is current. So, <laughs> yeah, I I don't remember how I got sponsored. I think I I think I became good. I became good friends with TV, and like 
but Lucas always like I've always we've known each other. We just never talked too much. But then um, I'm gonna put this guy back. But yeah, then I, I don't know. I guess TV put like a good word in for me, and then next thing I know, I'm sponsored. But yeah. Do you know about I use this to flip? Do you follow him? That that's the dude. Um, one of the guys hosting the. Yeah, huh. he's a homie. He's a good dude. So he was asking if you if you know about him because <laughs> he's oh. obviously follows you. He's a good dude, man, for sure. Him and I share a knife that we each only have. It's the Slifty Full Channel Marin with the um, Marin blade. He has one, and I have one, so we always have that. Yeah, how is it with like the full channel? It's nice. I really like it. But I got used to that first. So every time I pick up oh. another one, I'm like, it feels weird. So, yeah. but I really like it. Um, what handle length preference do you have? Somebody's asking. Uh, I, I honestly like, like, I like the shorter handles. Like, I don't know. I just find something interesting about a knife being like kind of small and like still being able to manipulate it. Like, um, I forget what, what small knives. Like, do you like, is flipping a 42 weird to you? Uh, I, I say like a 42 is a good length. It's just like, you know, like the design's so outdated at this point that it's like, the balance is kind of strange. Okay, let's see. Oh. Uh, what was your first grail? Uh, probably the TAC-2. Then I got TAC-2, and then I ended up getting rid of it, and then I regretted it. What do you think of Oshtosh? Oshtosh? Well, I don't know what Oshtosh is. Ashutosh. Oh, Ashutosh? Yeah. Oh, silly Ashutosh. He, he's, he's, uh, he's an interesting fella. Yeah, he's good at flipping. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Thoughts on ICP? <laughs> ICP. <laughs> <laughs> I took me a moment, but uh, uh, I don't know. What, I don't know if ICP actually stands for something or if they're just trying to troll. Yeah, <laughs> can't trust anybody in this stream. Yeah, I know. What's your favorite underwear brand? Hanes. I've been wearing Hanes for quite a minute. Go on. I'm a big fan of these things, these sacks. Have you seen the sacks yet? They're like, let me show you guys here. Sacks? They sacks. literally have a little sack that your nuts go into. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. I don't know. My wife got them for me, and I was like, "Okay, let's try the sacks underwear." And uh, now I have like six pairs of them or something. Um, uh, let's see here. That was maybe a bit more than you guys wanted to see, but um. Give Joff a job at the shop. I tell you what, if Joff moves to San Diego, I'll let him work two hours a week. <laughs> I'm on my way. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, man. Let's see. I, I lost air name of numbers. Uh, Uh, can you name all the members of the Squid Squad? Like the, the sponsors? I honestly don't know. I really don't. There's there's me, there's Jelly, there's Seiji, there's Flippin' Trippin', there's Still Hero, Steven, there's Matt Baft. There's Loki, Igor, 
Um, Kilo. Jin. I don't need like. I feel the sponsor list has gone huge. What's your opinions on the fifty-one modded or stocked? Uh, I mean, definitely modded, but I think the stock fifty-one is pretty. It's a fun flipper. Yeah, I've never been into it for some reason. I've almost gotten one, and then it just feels a little cheap to me. But maybe that's yeah, just... like a little toy, pretty much. Yeah, but it's cool. It's not bad, and you know. Um, how did you get big hands? Um, I guess. Would you ever want to get into mod work or knife making? Uh, Probably not. Opinion on Ligma? I'm not sure what the like, hell that is. What is Ligma? Ligma or, or no. Sug Suguma? Suguma? No, it's... <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking this up. So uh, it's someone trying to troll. It's like, they're like, they're like, do you have Ligma? And then you say, what's Ligma? And then they say, Ligma balls. Oh, right, of course. Yeah. <laughs> My boy, my boy, that's it. Uh, show more, Paul. <laughs> All right, let's see. Favorite uh, thoughts on Insane Clown Posse. Whoever let that band become famous, they just, yeah. Honestly, never listened to them. They just seem whack. Yeah, I could never even take shit serious for a second. Uh, Joff, what's your favorite trick or favorite combo? Something laddery. I guess this is like my little go-to combo. My go-to ladder stuff. The little... Where's Mika? Somebody's asking. Yeah, where is Mika? Who's your favorite person to face in competition? Um, I definitely my my round with Josh was definitely lit. So we both ended up dropping it, and we're we're good friends. So I don't know, just like a bro moment. Um. What's your opinion on the squiggle scales? They're terrible. Other than that, no comment. I got some too, and I felt the same thing. I just wasn't so into them. I don't They're know. way too thin. Yeah, I don't know. It, it wasn't my thing. Uh, but it was also had to do with the blade that came with them, and it just was too rickety and messed up, and I just got rid of it and was like, nope. Uh, Ligament balls, yeah, we got that one. Uh, you got me, yep. <laughs> um, Josh Shop, Josh has humongous balls. Uh, this has been my favorite video. Checkmate. Uh, let's find the end of this, Josh. Chug a beer. No way. Um, do you know Mike? Mike, who's Mike? Mike Hunt. Oh, oh, Professor Slime. No, just say it. Oh my God, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Um, Professor I was Slime getting these guys Mike. back. Mike Hunt. Mike Hunt. Damn, I'm gonna have to start calling. Pepe Roni. I'm that now. <laughs> Mike Huntley. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, All right. We should. All right. Let's see here. 
Best volley song trainer. Squid trainer. Squid trainer. Or an autolith. Or an autolith. Cool, man. I think that we did pretty good. I think we, we answered a lot of stuff and we kept it pretty chill and stupid all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time. Um, I really appreciate you guys all for tuning into this. And I really appreciate you for taking the time to do this interview. Um, Thanks. super fun. And I really do hope to see you in Atlanta, but if not in the future, I'll probably see you at West. If you go to West, I'll probably be there. I have a good feeling for I will be for sure. All right. All you right. guys. Adios oh, amigos. This is damn right. I got knives signing out. See you guys next time. Thank you, Joff. Peace out. Later.